Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my recent trip to Ireland. As an expat, returning to where you're from often brings up a range of emotions, joy, nostalgia, and so much more. On this trip, I visited Donegal and Derry, places I haven't been to in a very long time, where I have some family. There were really so many beautiful moments during my trip. So from the moment I stepped off the plane, I was hit with a wave of emotion. And, you know, seeing Ireland's beautiful nature, as well as familiar places and faces, brought back a flood of memories, reminding me of my roots and the special bond I have with the country. When I arrived in Ireland, this time to the airport in Belfast, stepping off the plane really brought a kind of rush of excitement and anticipation. I hadn't seen some of the people I was going to see in years. And then getting on the bus to Derry, I felt this overwhelming sense of homecoming. So every mile brought me closer to those I truly hold dear. Just the journey itself was filled with a mix of nervousness and joy as I watched the familiar landscape roll by as I sat on the bus. The rolling green hills and quaint villages felt like a very warm welcome back, and the anticipation of reuniting with loved ones added a layer of emotion to the already picturesque journey. It was so nice to arrive in Derry where I was greeted by my cousin who I'd be staying with. There's an old saying in Irish, which is Nilain Tinton Mardahinton Fain, which means there's no fireplace like your own fireplace, or some of you might know it as there's no place like home. So this idiom perfectly sums up my experience. There's really an unmatched comfort and warmth in returning to familiar surroundings, no matter how far or how long away you've been. The landscapes, the accents, even the smell of the air, everything feels like a warm embrace from an old friend. Love trick. It's a powerful <laughs> reminder that no matter where life takes you, home or where you come from, always has a special place in your heart. So this is me where I stayed um, in my cousin's house in the city of Derry. And some of you may know Derry now because it's even more popular because of the great TV show Derry Girls. The familiar sights of Derry as well as Donegal and where there's the rugged coastline and charming towns felt like stepping into really a cherished memory. So truly one of the best parts of the trip um was driving just just driving through the Irish countryside. It's just incredible the views. <laughs> um, Ireland is known for its many shades of green, um, thanks to our interesting climate. And yeah, just driving through here, I'm always reminded why the scenery is so calming with rolling hills and, you know, lush landscapes. And the air, you know, the air is so fresh and crisp and it feels so rejuvenating, especially when you're coming from a, a city. These moments of serenity were just what I needed from this trip. And each turn in the road just revealed another breathtaking view from, you know, miscovered hills to tranquil bodies of water. It's like nature's own therapy, soothing and invigorating at the same time. The peace and quiet of the countryside provides a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life Especially, I said, especially as I said, when you're visiting from a city. We're just driving from Derry to Donegal and we're on our way to a wedding. And I'm here with my wonderful cousin who's driving me to the wedding. Um, we're 
we're hoping we're going to be on time. Uh, we're going to the church right now. Are you looking forward to the wedding, Karen? Can't wait. Yeah. So look, we've just come out. We're just coming into Donegal. We're cross borders. We've just left miles, and now we're in kilometers. You. <laughs> nice. Hi everyone, I just arrived to this family wedding and there's just such an amazing view here. It's really beautiful. So one of the main reasons for going to Ireland at this time was to attend a family wedding. So in Ireland, the ceremony often takes place in a church and is also often followed by a very lively party. There's dancing, drinking and a huge meal. So it was wonderful to see family members I hadn't seen in ages, as well as those I see more often. The music, the laughter, and the heartfelt toasts created an atmosphere of pure celebration. And for me, yeah, another highlight and something I was just looking forward to so much um, because I'm currently living in, you know, um, a landlocked country um, where there's no coastline. So I had really been looking forward to uh, walking on the beach the air on Irish beaches is incredibly fresh and the sound of the waves is just so peaceful. It's amazing how the simple act of walking on an Irish beach can bring such a sense of calm and contentment. I remember when I was younger, I used to kind of envy those who lived in warmer climates and they got to go to the beach and sunbathe and you know, well, swim in the ocean, you can still swim in the Irish ocean. Um, but yeah, now that I'm older, I just really appreciate just walking and breathing in the, the fresh, crisp air, walking barefoot. I love walking barefoot in the, in the sea. The vast expanse of the ocean, the gentle lapping of the waves and the soft sand or water, if you're walking in the sea underfoot, it just creates this kind of perfect setting for reflection and relaxation. The natural beauty of the coastline just reminds me of the simple joys in life and really the importance of taking time to appreciate them. It's a moment of pure tranquility that I truly cherish. So that's a little glimpse into my trip back home. It was filled with joy, nostalgia, and really many special moments. If you ever get the chance to visit Ireland, or if you're planning a trip back home, you might experience some of these feelings too. Whether it's reconnecting with family, enjoying the stunning landscapes, or simply taking a walk on the beautiful beach, there was something truly magical about my visit to Ireland this time. Thanks for watching and of course, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as we say in Irish, Slán which means goodbye for now.